the Intertantiphon. I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. The Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. The Lord has abandoned me. How many times you cried out to God saying those things. And today's first reading, people of Israelites, those are in exile, they're saying the same thing. Where is God? Why he has forgotten? But Jesus says in the scripture, Father and I are the one. Whatever Father tells, I am doing it. Which means Father loves us, Son loves us, and all the saints loves us. As God this morning, let's recall the sins that we have committed and ask pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord, have Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Oh, let us pray. For God who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who are penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may so to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, in the time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. And I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the way, they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and from the west, and some from the land of Syene. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant, be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to Psalm, the Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious. gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his works and, in whole, and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever believes in me will never die. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, 
Christ, King, King of, of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason they tried to more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the father doing. For he does the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does. And he will show him greater works than these so that you may be amazed. For just as a father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son so that all may honor the Son, just they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from the death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and he is now here. When dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as a father has life in himself, so also he gave the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A man had so many surgeries, like open heart surgery, and also he was diagnosed with a cancer. Then after they decided to go to the local church every day in the morning to pray to God and ask his guidance. And somehow he was able to comfort and console himself from the voice of God. It says, wherever you go, whatever you do, I will be with you. Before he was conformed, then he was crying out to God, as the people of Israel did in exile. Lord, why have you forsaken me? Why have you abandoned me? Why I am going through all the pain and suffering in the world? Where are you when I am going through all this pain? And again, he got assurance, do not be afraid, I will be with you. But whenever he goes to the beach, he always walks and feels the presence of God. Then all of a sudden, he saw the two sets of footprints on the beach. He felt was so happy. God promised and God is here with me. I don't need to be afraid. And while walking along the way, he saw only one set of prints. Then he looked around. He could not see, the, he could not feel the presence of God. Then he started complaining to God. You promised me that you are going to be with me. Where are you now? Again, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forgotten me? And he heard the voice and saying, When you saw one set of footprints, it is not you, but it was me carrying on my back. I know you are broken. I know you are a sick person. I know you have so much to go through. So that's why I gave my help to carry you. How many times we cry out to God in our day-to-day -day life, 
How many times we kneel down, looking at the cross, and maybe spending lots of time in adoration. Lord, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forgotten me? Look at Jesus when he was dying on the cross. Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The Son of God was not exempted to complete his own father. At the same time, when Jesus was dying on the cross, father also was dying. When your children are suffering, they are not suffering all alone. But they're suffering with the parents. Parents are the one who takes all the pain and suffering, try to find the ways for the children to move on. The same thing happened in the first reading today. People are crying to Isaiah. Why God has brought us into the desert? We are dying here. We have no food, no water. They started grumbling and complaining. And they forgot the hand of God who led from, from a, a bondage to the promised land. And he was there with them all the time. And now in today's scripture says, Why have you forgotten us, Lord? Why have you abandoned us, Lord? And today's first, uh, gospel reading says, The beautiful relationship between the Father and the Son. We all know that Jesus was sent by his own Father to be with us and to die on the cross, to rise from the dead and bring us the salvation and the redemption. At the end of the day, we always complain, Jesus, where are you? If you are real, why are you not answering my prayers? Why have you abandoned me? My family abandoned me, my friends abandoned me, and you are also uh, uh, forsaken me and abandoned me. How many times we really cried out? But the good news is, whenever we feel those kind of feelings, and Jesus is going to be with us, comforting and consoling. But the only thing is, you have to gather yourself and try to listen to the voice of God, as the man did in our story so that God can carry each and every one of us. That's why God is so merciful, so gracious. The psalmist says, even though you commit so many sins, but when you go to the confession, when the priest gives absolution, your sins are forgiven. Even though you might have had so much pain to walk into that room, when you come out, you have a big smile on your face. Why? Because you really believe it and trust it. God has forgiven all your sins. He's going to give the pure heart. But whenever you are falling down, he's ready there to raise us up. How many times we really felt that everybody abandoned you, but you are all alone. But when you come to the church and saying, Our Father, Hail Mary, spending little time in adoration and complaining to Mother Mary to bless you, how many times we did that, right? So whenever you feel real, the presence of God is going to raise you up. Then you are going to be a different person. And you will forget your pain and suffering, brokenness, nothing but only the love of God. That's why trust in the power of God as our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you name it, all the prophets, all the saints, they really had a broken lives, but when they were touched by God and everything was a blessing for all of them. If a sinner can become a saint, you and I are all sinners, right? So there is a possibility for all of us to become a saints. So never ever give up to become a saints. Let us ask God the Father. God the Son and the Holy Spirit to be with us so that we will not complain. Lord, why have you forsaken us? Why have you forgotten us? But we can feel the real presence of God whenever we hear the voice from the scriptures, whenever we receive the body and blood of Christ is going to comfort us and console us. Amen. Please rise. My brothers and sisters, God, this morning, let us offer all our prayers and petitions that the Lord may hear our prayers and answer us. For the leaders of the church, may they be given wisdom to see the Lord's ways and the courage to act on them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all nations and peoples, may the Lord have mercy on their suffering and trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who, are, who feel abandoned or are tempted to give up hope, May the peace of Christ console them and strengthen their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our faith community discerning a vocation toward the priesthood or religious life, may the Lord bless them with generous and open hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. This morning's Mass intentions are offered up for Fermo Faria, Idolina Silva, August Ferreira, and Anna Abreu. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord is near to call upon him that he will hear all our prayers and answer all our prayers. Let us trust and believe in the power of God that he may grant all our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we receive, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and oak of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we receive, the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine in work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Prayer, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May the power of the sacrifices, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us the grace of salvation and newness of our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always to be with to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with your countless angels as with one voice of praise, we acclaim holy. Holy, holy, holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, and the saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, and saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of our sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Edgar de Cunha, our Bishop, clergy, and all the faithful. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the service command in a form of the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, sit your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ give me sick for eternal life. Amen. Communion antiphon. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world, but that the world might be saved through him.
Well, let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow and is a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to the masses and that. Have a beautiful day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day he rose. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Three Hail Marys for the increase of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection, fruit of the mystery is faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension. The fruit of the mystery is hope. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles and Mary. Fruit of the mystery is love of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption, the assumption of Our Lady into heaven. The fruit of the mystery is the grace of a happy death. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, 
save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the crowning of Mary as queen of heaven and earth. The fruit of the mystery is trust in Mary's intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries, of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the Pope's intention and the indulgence. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, our mother, 
To you do we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, may the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world and even until the end of time. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, St. Joseph, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.